Okay guys, welcome to quadrilaterals. A quadrilateral is any 2D object, two-dimensional object, so a flat object, which is what we're looking at, with four straight sides. So it's pretty straightforward. Quadrilateral is any 2D object with four straight sides. And we've got some examples here below, and we'll be going through them. Okay, so the main type of quadrilateral that we'll come in contact with are parallelograms. So parallelograms are quadrilaterals with both pairs of opposite sides being parallel to one another. So the three examples of parallelograms are rectangles, as you can see here in the first picture, squares, as you can see in the second picture, and rhombuses, or diamonds, as you can see in the third. Let's have a look at the properties of each of these parallelograms. So, firstly, the rectangle. The rectangle is an equilateral because it is a shape with four straight sides and it's also a parallelogram because both pairs of opposite sides are parallel to one another. So, the first thing we can know with the rectangle, sorry, there's two properties. Opposite sides are equal in length and all angles are equal to 90 degrees. So, if we have a look at our diagram here, when we were looking at triangles, we were looking at the way in which we labelled them and we were looking at right angle labelling and we were also looking at side labelling. So the first property here of the rectangle was opposite sides are equal in length. So this side here and this side here are opposites and they're equal in length and we can tell this because we've labelled them so. We've got the same amount of lines, so two lines on each of these sides. These sides here are also opposite and we've got one line on each of these sides. That tells whoever's looking at the rectangle that this side here and this side here are both opposite and equal, and this side here and this side here, which are opposite, are also equal. Now, the other characteristic of a rectangle is that all angles are equal to 90 degrees. As you can see, each angle in here, each point, has that little box which represents 90 degrees. So parallelograms, rectangles, opposite sides are equal in length, and all angles are equal to 90 degrees. Our next example of a parallelogram is the rhombus. Now, with the rhombus, all sides are equal in length. So this side here is equal to this side here, which is equal to this side here, which is equal to this side here. Now, I hope you're getting this, guys. When we're looking at sides, it's becoming pretty obvious. We know that these sides are equal in length because if we look at our rhombus, let me just rub out these ugly lines I've put on here. When we look at our rhombus, we can tell all sides are equal in length because they're annotated so. We've got the same lines on each side. One little annotation, one line on each side, means all the sides are equal in length. Now, the other characteristic of a rhombus is that opposite angles are equal in size. <clears throat> Sorry. So this angle here and this angle here are opposites. And they're also equal in size. And we can tell them because they have the same number of arcs. This has two arcs. This has two arcs. This angle here and this angle here are opposites. And they're also equal. They have one arc and they have one arc. So rhombuses. All sides are equal in length and opposite angles are equal in size. We can tell this based on the annotations. So, next. Squares. Now, squares are pretty straightforward. All sides are equal in length. This side equal to this side, equal to this side, equal to this side. We can also tell this because of our annotations. Second thing, all angles are equal to 90 degrees. Not just opposites, not just some of them, all angles. One, two, three, four. They're the two properties of a square. All sides are equal in length and all angles are equal to 90 degrees. Okay guys, besides from parallelograms, there are a few other quadrilaterals. There's three different ones and they're a little bit funny. We've got trapezium, so this is our top example here. And we have one pair of opposite sides that are parallel. We can tell this, we know that they're parallel, because this little arrow symbol, this new annotation that we haven't seen so far, means that they're parallel. So it's not just the basic lines. These little arrows pointing in one direction means that both of these sides, opposite sides, so this side's opposite to this side, they're parallel because they're running in the same direction. 
So that's a trapezium. That's another kind of quadrilateral. It's got four different sides and one pair of opposite sides are parallel. Now, a second type of different quadrilateral is a kite. Now, a kite has a two pairs of adjacent sides. So adjacent means next to each other that are equal in length. So this side here is kind of next to this side here. This side here is next to this side here. Now, we know that these sides are equal in length because this is annotated with two lines here. This is annotated with two lines here. We know that these adjacent sides are equal in length because that's annotated with one line there and one line there. Now, the other property of a kite is that one pair of opposite angles are equal. Now, these opposite angles are between the unequal sides. So, these sides here aren't equal to those sides there. One line on those, two lines on the bottom ones, so we know they're not equal. But, these angles in between them, they're opposite one another, and they're both equal because they have the same one annotation on each. So, two properties of a kite. Two pairs of adjacent sides are equal in length. So, this pair here, this pair here, that pair there, that pair there, and two opposite angles are equal. Now, this last one's a bit funny. It's called an irregular quadrilateral. So if we think back to the start of the tutorial, sorry, it said that a quadrilateral was any shape with four sides. Now, we've got one, two, three, four. We've got four sides on this shape, and they're all straight. So quadrilateral, anything with four sides that are straight. Now, this is an irregular quadrilateral. Things don't run parallel, they don't run adjacent, nothing's equal. It's just a funny little shape with four different sides. It doesn't really have any special properties. So guys, that's quadrilaterals. Quadrilaterals are any closed shape with four straight sides. We have parallelograms, which are the majority of the quadrilaterals we've looked at today. So parallelograms are quadrilaterals with both pairs of opposite sides being parallel. And we've looked at these other three quadrilaterals, a trapezium, a kite, and a regular quadrilaterals as well. So hopefully that makes sense to you now.